Now, yes, I am diving pretty deep into Greco-Roman mythology here, but to be fair, Oda loves mythology, and he has referenced many mythological traditions in One Piece, including Greek and Roman. Because of that, I firmly believe that studying mythological traditions, including Greek, Roman, Norse, Egyptian, Mesoamerican, and of course Japanese, can give us real clues about where he's going with the story. And if the name J. Garcia Saturn is a clue that, like the Saturn in Roman mythology, Saint J. Garcia Saturn is a foreigner, an immigrant god in the world of One Piece, then the final saga of the story may really take us where many have been predicting that it will go all along. Outer space. Could Imusama and maybe even the Gorosei be extraterrestrial invaders who conquered the Earth during the Void Century, from the very name, Celestial Dragons, to having a name with the word Saturn in it, perhaps that is why we still haven't seen what Im really looks like. Because he or she has a distinctly alien appearance, and Oda doesn't want us to connect all the dots just yet. Could the One Piece treasure be on top of a comet, or could it be the comet itself? Did aliens build the pyramids and create Bitcoin. There are many possible scenarios, and this is all such fascinating stuff, and in the end, I know that Oda will not disappoint us. The ending of One Piece will be absolutely incredible, and the massive reveals about the Void Century and the One Piece treasure will definitely shock everyone. Sounding like the aliens guy from the History Channel, 